Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be learning how to calculate producer surplus. With that said, let's get into it. So in order to calculate producer surplus, the first thing that we'll need to do is draw a generic supply and demand graph. So I'll start with my axes, a supply and demand line, and then I'll label everything generally speaking. So I have my price on my Y axis, my quantity on my X axis, my P star and my Q star are labeled where the two curves intersect. That's my equilibrium. And then as you can see, my supply curve is the upward sloping blue line and my demand curve is the downward sloping red line. Now, the first step to calculating producer surplus is actually to get those equilibrium values. So on this graph, you can see that they're denoted as P star and Q star. In order to find those values, I need the demand equation and the supply equation that's represented by these lines. And this will be given to you by your prof or by your teacher in order for you to solve. So for this particular example, we have a demand equation and a supply equation that look like this. So quantity demanded is equal to 182 minus 2p and quantity supplied is equal to 5p. And you'll see I have them as red and blue so you can see which one is the supply and which one is the demand. And your equations might look different, but your steps to solve will be the exact same. So now that I have these two equations, the first step that I need to do is solve for equilibrium. Now, if you don't know how to do that, I have a video on the channel that you can check out that'll teach you step-by-step -step tutorial how to take two equations and find the equilibrium P star and Q star. However, today's your lucky day because I'm actually gonna show you really quick how to do it in this video, just to make sure no one's left behind. So we know where the supply curve and the demand curve intersect is at one point where the Q values and the P values must be the same for both of them. So what I can do to find equilibrium is simply set quantity demanded equal to quantity supplied. And what that's gonna look like is me setting the equations equal to each other because quantity demanded is equal to 182 minus 2p and quantity supplied is equal to 5p. So if I set them equal to each other, I get something like this. Now you'll notice I have one equation, one unknown, so I can simply rearrange to solve for p. And if I move that negative 2p to the other side, I'm going to get 182 equals 7p. So again, that negative 2p just went to the other side as a positive 2p and got added to 5 to get seven. Finally, I divide both sides by seven and that's going to give me P star or my equilibrium P value is 26. And now I can take this P value and I can sub it into the quantity supplied equation right here. Now you might ask yourself, whoa, why the quantity supplied? Why not the quantity demanded? Well, fun fact, it's going to be the exact same Q value no matter which equation I sub it into. And I'm subbing it into the supply equation because it looks easier to deal with. But if I sub it into the demand equation, there's a little bit more going on. So in this video, I'm gonna sub it into the supply equation. But if you don't believe me, you can sub it in to the demand equation all by yourself. You're gonna get the same value. So anyway, I sub it into the supply equation, QS equals 5P, but now my P value is known. So Q star, my equilibrium quantity is equal to five times 26, which is simply 130. Now that I know my equilibrium quantity and my equilibrium price, I'm going to put them on my graph and it's gonna look something like this. So as you may know, and if you don't know, now you know, the area above the supply curve and under the selling price is noted as producer surplus. So you can see it's this triangle right here. As you see, the equilibrium price is 26. It's below that price level, but it's above the supply curve. And so if I want to know how much producer surplus is, all I need to do is calculate the area of this triangle. Sounds easy, right? So recall from grade six geometry, the area of a triangle is simply base times height divided by two. So in this case, my producer surplus is simply base times height divided by two. And luckily for me, I have my base and my height of this triangle already given. So you can see the base of the triangle is right here and the height of the triangle is right here. And these are nice, easy numbers of 130 and 26. So if I substitute them into my equation, I get producer surplus is equal to 130 times 26 divided by two. And with some simple algebra, I get a producer surplus value of $1,690. You might be wondering, why is it in dollars? Well, consumer and producer surplus are always in terms of whatever the y-axis price is. So in my case, I'm from Canada, we use dollars. And so my producer surplus is going to be in dollars. Intuitively, what producer surplus is, is the amount of surplus or the amount of benefit that producers have from selling for a price higher than their willingness to sell. So imagine a producer is willing to sell something for $10, but they actually sell it for 26. Well, then they would have a surplus of $16. Now, if you take this of the aggregate of all producers and you multiply it by the amount actually traded in the economy, that's Q star, that's how you get the producer surplus represented as that triangle. We hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, let us know what economic concepts or homework questions you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video. 
and we'll catch you in the next.